Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Release Radar. I am Snowy, otherwise known as Count Fracula. This is the third video I'm making today. I am very stressed. The first release I'm going to talk about is called Bio Inc. Redemption. And if you like games such as Pandemic, both the board game and the free little flash game slash... Oh, what was the paid version of it? Plague Inc. that was on Steam a few years ago? Then this game is very much for you, priced at $9.99, puts a little bit of a spin on everything actually. Because while you can play it as a virus, making the quote, ultimate illness to torment your victim, you can also play as the head of a medical team trying to stop the spread of said virus. Which, that's a nice little twist on the genre, I love that, I love that little idea in comparison to the normal sort of infect the world and kill everything you can actually do the opposite of that and try and save everyone which is you know a really nice little twist and to be honest a tenner for that that's not too bad i mean i might pay a little less but at the same time it looks like they put a little bit of investment into the uh, the graphics and whatever that they're using it's very sort of in-depth musculature and skeleton and probably a lot of medical based research coming to this so maybe that's justifying the price but regardless looks interesting enough now if you're like me and you love city building slash strategy games then this game is definitely for you it's called north guard it's just come out of early access and until the 14th of march it is down from 2379 to 1784 so that's down from $30 to about $22, $23. Oh, currencies. Um, yes. Anyway, <laughs> this is less of a city build. It's a bit of both. A bit, a bit of city building, a bit of strategy. It's very much like a game that I cannot remember the name of. Banished! That came out a while ago. But this is more Norse-themed than sort of... Uh, Banished is more based on early Britain, Britannian sort of civilization sort of thing, whereas this is more Norse inspired, this is a, well, yeah, Banished is a bit more Germanic, this is more Norse. That's where I was going. Anyway, um, it looks like that, but at the same time, a lot of love has gone into the art style used in this game. A lot of love seems to have gone into the systems that they're using. I'm not a huge fan of the UI personally, but I've never been one to let the UI dictate whether or not a game is good or not. And by the looks of it, and certainly by the looks of the reviews, it's a very good little strategy game. And now it's out of early access. Why not? Now for a studio that does some very strange little games called Aman Amanita Design. They've made games such as Machinarium, which is a weird robot apocalypse based adventure game. Botanicula, a game that is again very weird. And Samorost, which is again a very weird game. They had now have a new comedy adventure puzzle game called Chuchel, C-H-U-C-H-E-L. And it is what you'd expect, a very abstract weird style of puzzle game doing very strange little visual comedy things is what you expect from this studio at this point and they've really got their craft down to a T and they know what they're doing and it just looks really fun <laughs> to be honest really fun really silly little hand drawn art and interesting little puzzles environmental and otherwise priced at $7.99 and I think if you like puzzle games or if you liked any of their previous games then this will definitely be your thing. And the final game I'm going to talk about today is called Crest, the indirect god sim as it is marketed. A very apt title when you think about it because um, it, it is just that. The only way you can actually influence the civilization that you have got or that has been made for your game is using commandments. However, because the inhabitants of this society have free will, that means they can leave 
your, your commandments are a bit more open to interpretation than in traditional god games. So, you could say one thing and they could do something completely different because, in my opinion, I'm going to go off a light, slight little tangent, if a god does exist and he made commandments, I very much think that this is what would happen because humans are not perfect. We're not the best at following instruction to the letter. We interpret things very differently. And if this works as marketed, that can make some very interesting results. And I will quote the description here. Will you create a flourishing civilization or lead them into cannibalism? Interesting. Very, very interesting. And at 6 99 I think that's worth a, sh worth a shot. Not cannibalism though, just the game. That brings us to the end of another episode of The Release Radar. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, share, whatever you fancy. Hey, in the middle of the broadcast, hope you're enjoying this. And I think there are some reviews next. I never remember the order, but oh well. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more releases.